Based in Ashland, Oregon, Derricks is a fourth generation family owned company that makes drill and knife sharpeners on fast paced production lines with many repetitive and ergonomically unfriendly tasks. The company has now implemented universal robots in screw driving and box erecting applications. The reason that I got into automation is each year we add more and more products to our product line and I need to be able to add that capacity in the same amount of space and with the same amount of people. The reason I don't just go get more employees is we kind of live in a small rural valley. We have quite a bit of competition as for the labor pool that exists. I started looking into universal robots. They appeared to be simple to program, or I realized that they were collaborative, meaning I can have people work next to them without a bunch of caging, and the price was very competitive. To integrate our very first robot that we purchased, one of my engineers received the unit one day. He essentially took it out of the box and within an hour had it doing something. The first application that we've started using our UR3 for is screw driving. Traditionally, we would have an operator with a pneumatic screw gun. So the first thing that we did was teach program the robot to, to perform this task. It seemed to be low-hanging fruit. It was also a task that people did not like to do. The screw driving application, it had some quality issues with screws being missing because the holes in the housing were kind of hard to see into. So with the robot, it won't miss any of the screws. It'll hit them all. We've seen, yeah, that we've seen the quality go up because of it. When we, we started with the UR and went so smoothly, we decided to take that next step and add the conveyor system and all the PLC controlling, um, the things like the pneumatic press, and add another UR robot on the boxing side of it. When I was looking at how I was gonna control the entire system with the conveyor and all these different stations, I actually decided to go with the UR as the main controller for the entire system because the user's interface was so easy to use and it was so fast and I could program that entire thing so quickly uh, that I was really happy with that decision. The first step that happens at the boxing station is the robot goes and grabs a box out of a cassette. It folds it into shape and sets it into a staging platform. It then goes and grabs four individual cartons and loads that case. When the case is full, it closes the lid and pushes it through the taping station. The boxes, they go across a check weighing conveyor to see that they are, weigh the right amount. If they do not, a signal from the check station is sent to the boxing robot to take that box and set it aside. It does not stop the line. The benefits of us having added automation to our production line, we're, we're running about 27 to 30% more efficient. I can focus people into different areas. Adding the robots to our automated line has allowed me to uh, build that product four times a week instead of two times a week like I did in the past. For the ROI on purchasing the robot, it's slightly less than a year actually. Uh, so I'm very happy about that. And then for the automation project overall, I was ahead of budget quite a bit. We've really found that companies that can integrate the robot themselves, they understand the application and the hardware a lot better. And it allows them to support their projects themselves and to help find other applications throughout their facility for collaborative robots. Now that I have a couple of great applications for robots, I'm definitely planning to use more robots throughout the factory. We are very interested in the palletizing station. It keeps people from reaching and bending by having a robot load the pallets. We could easily replicate the automation line that we've created now two or three more times in our production area and accomplish the same thing with other products.